Hi everyone, welcome back to Rich King Coaching YouTube channel. Uh, this is an exciting video because it's from a request from one of our competition winners. It was an interesting topic and it was based on how to get a good connection with the racket and the ball consistently. It was quite a good question. It made me really think a little bit about what is the main basics that you need to be considering um, to always get a good connection with the ball in the center of the racket. Uh, for me, I'm a strong, firm believer of stability, getting stability in your body with your legs or whether your racket. And that in itself is gonna give more possibility to judging uh, the connection of the racket with the ball much better. I'll explain a little bit about that more in a second. It's also really, really important just to understand and judge what the correct distance is from the ball. Now, there's a few different things which can really help that. Um, first of all, when you're hitting a squash ball, in general, pretty much everywhere on the court, you want to be hitting the ball an arm and racket's length from your body. And lunging and stepping to the ball is also a vitally important aspect. So whatever your comfortable lunge distance is, maybe sometimes you have to take bigger lunges and sometimes you don't need as much, but in general, a good comfortable lunge distance, something like this, and an arm and racket's length distance from the ball. Okay, so that is your ideal distance from the squash ball to start with. Same on my backhand here for the right-hander. Okay, there's my comfortable lunge, and there's an arm and racket's length distance from the ball. So first of all, start getting really used to that and trying to judge that distance. And then secondly, most miss hits or mistimed swings where the ball's hitting the edge of the racket or so, is because you lose the balance in your upper body or lower body. And I think number one is gonna be in the lower body to start with. So, what I like to teach is that when you're practicing or learning, first of all, stay in your lunge for half a second longer. Obviously, as you get better and better at timing your movement, you will be able to make that moment of balance and striking with the ball so precise that it seems really quick. But to start off with, make sure that as you're playing your swing, you are keeping your lower body nice and stable. If you think any shift or movement or adjustment in the feet, suddenly your racket is now going in a different direction to what you've judged. So you might not even have bad high and eye coordination. You just have a loss of balance. And instead of striking the ball here, you're leaning backwards and now you're striking the ball there. Okay? It's really, really, really important. So give yourself more time to stay stable. And then as you develop that balance, you can make that strike point with the ball and the balance of the lunge so short that it looks like you're gliding around the court, okay? So that's what I would mainly focus on to start with. The other areas of lack of stability or lack of ability to direct the racket precisely to the correct area or direct the racket to the ball in the correct area of the racket, which is the sweet spot in the center, is actually to do with your wrist stability in your hand. And that you need to basically develop the balance and connection between the two fingers and thumb here, the main gripping fingers. You see I've got a little bit of plaster today, but these two fingers here, the bottom two are just for extra support. So by squeezing here as much as I need to based on the speed or difficulty of my opponent's shot, keeps my wrist more stable. If this is super loose, you just look at the amount of movement that will be happening in my racket as I follow through towards the ball. So just have a little squeeze on here as much as you need to. And that keeps your racket head also steady. So that ability to get the ball in the center of the racket is much, much easier. Okay? Now here's a little exercise. You can be really random or varied with this. I was thinking what would be a good way to keep um, practicing this positioning. And basically you're just gonna change your distance of where you're hitting the ball in the court. So I'm gonna stand at the back on the forehand now. So. Just watch me here, and I'm gonna gradually work my way up and down the front of the court, making those adjustments that I need to keep that arm and racket's length distance from the ball. And I'm gonna be in movement here in between each shot, and then find my stability. And then what you can do is then make it random by putting in a boast, adjusting your feet, finding that balance and distance again, and just changing where you're striking the ball. I appreciate this is a lot of control as well, but test yourself. 
There's my balance, there's the arm and racket's length distance from the ball. The other really important factor is to make sure you're hitting the ball at the highest point of the bounce. That is the optimum moment. And if you hit it too late on the down like this one, that's also a lot harder to control, you see there. And that could be another reason why you don't keep the ball in the center of the racket when you're hitting it. Could also play some cross, slowing down there so I have enough space. Play around with it, enjoy it, but those are the key factors I would say to making sure you're getting a consistent strike of the ball in this sweet spot. Good luck and I'll hear from you all soon.